Hello my friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Just a quick check up on what's happening over in one of our main flashpoints and that's Venezuela as we've been talking about this situation for quite a while now. So over here we have Venezuelan forces including Russian made self-propelled self howitzers allegedly on the move towards the Colombia border. So the situation right now is such that it's basically a waiting game in so much and to see what's going to happen next. And this is on a defense blog and this is confirming Venezuela's stepping up armored deployment on the Colombia border. Residents of eastern Venezuela posted uh, footage of heavy artillery systems, main battle tanks, and military equipment moving towards the Colombian border. And so a count already happened. Also released a video also showing the military convoy, including recently ordered Russian-made 2S-19 MSTA-S heavy artillery systems that are en route to the Colombian border. President Maduro fears basically foreign military intervention which we've been talking about as well and is ramping up its armed forces along the Colombian border. A source in Caracas said that Maduro feared that U.S. troops will be withdrawn from Afghanistan and Syria and they could be well suited for redeployment in a Colombian based conflict with Venezuela. But the Colombian Defense Ministry reported that the Colombian government is not going to provide the United States with military bases so the latter could launch a possible military invasion in Venezuela. So, no, the Colombian Defense Ministry's representative said when answering the question whether Bogota was going to provide Washington with military bases needed for a possible operation against Caracas. So, to date, President Maduro retains the levers of power and he seeks to stop the crisis in the country with preventative measures and to prevent the participation of the United States and their quote-unquote partners in, in the crisis inside the countries. And so we have nations, some nations uh, turning on Maduro and uh, as this is happening we have him basically parading with uh, the military and you know going around getting photo ops with him basically marching with the military and taking part in some military drills. So you see him jogging along. A good photo op right there. And uh, basically, you know, doing a show of force. So both Russia and China are major creditors of Venezuela since the government of Maduro's late mentor, Hugo Chavez. The OPEC nation has invested heavily in Russian weaponry, including Sukhoi fighter jets and heavy armor. The strategic alliance was in evidence last year when two Russian nuclear-capable bombers landed in Venezuela. Reuters reported on Friday that private military contractors who do secret missions for Russia flew into Venezuela to beef up security. So, you know, we're watching this situation I wouldn't say it's really escalating so much right now. It, it's it's kind of it's at a tense standoff. Interestingly, there's confirmed evidence of total internet blackouts across regions of Venezuela lasting for 28 hours. Increasingly severe disruptions now in effect. And so who's doing that? That's a, that's a little question. You know, is it the Venezuelan government with Maduro? Is it the United States? Russia, China, who, who's doing this is definitely part of it because, you know, that's one thing to watch. You know, big, big blackouts so that no info could get out on what's actually really happening. So breaking the mass departure of business jets from Venezuela this afternoon, direction mainly to the Caribbean, mass departure from business jets from Venezuela, again, heading mainly to the Caribbean. So time to head out before conflict actually starts. 
U.S. asks world to pick a side on Venezuela as the U.K. calls for fair elections. Mike Pompeo urged countries to disconnect from Maduro's government financially as Britain issued an eight-day ultimatum. And, uh, you know, Britain asserting itself. And we had heard that statement again about Britain looking to reassert itself internationally once again. And so Britain has issued the embattled Venezuelan president, Nicolas Maduro, a stark ultimatum warning him that it will throw its weight behind the country's self-declared interim leader, that's Juan Guaido, unless he called an election within the next eight days as the U.S. government called on the world to pick a side. And so echoing calls from Berlin, Paris, and Madrid, Jeremy Hunt, the foreign secretary, said on Saturday it was clear Maduro was no longer a legitimate leader of the Latin American country after last year's deeply flawed election. And over here, uh, Strategic Sentinel. This just gives you an idea of who's supporting who. So you see blue is the countries that are supporting Guaido, and red are the countries that are supporting Maduro. So we see there is definitely a split there. And you see Venezuela itself here with Colombia right here. And they have been fearing an attack from both Colombia and Brazil. And we still have to see if that will manifest or not. So we can see there's, there's quite a few countries on both sides. So you have Syria, Turkey, Iraq, I mean Iran, Russia, China, South Africa, Bolivia, Cuba, Honduras, and Mexico, along with Suriname on the one side. And then you have the United States, Canada, most of South America, and uh, the better portion of Latin America as well, along with its allies from the EU. So, in Australia. So no to new elections so far. Maduro slams Trump and the EU for arrogance and disrespect. And again, more photo ops here. Always the photo ops. And so we'll see what happens, my friends. We'll see what happens. There's definitely moves going on. And things might develop sooner than later in this situation is what it's feeling like. So as always, I'm looking forward to your comments, what you guys think, what is happening, what do you expect to see out of this situation, what type of resolution do you think is going to occur. I look forward to your comments. As always, my friends, please do like, share, subscribe, click the bell for all notifications. God bless. Stay safe. Stay prepared. Namaste.